Welcome to mtbfitness.com. Today we're going to talk about how to boost race day performance with caffeine. Caffeine is considered an ergogenic aid. What is an ergogenic aid? Uh, it's basically performance enhancing, meaning when you take it, it's actually shown and has proven back-to-back -back research that it will improve performance when taken properly. Uh, I'm going to go over multiple ways you can go ahead and do go about doing this and taking caffeine and also discuss why I, I believe it is one of the only ergogenic aids I actually recommend. Uh, so once again, caffeine, three to 5% increase in performance. That's absolutely huge, especially for the you know, better you get, the more important that is. Three to 5%, let's say you have an athlete who produces 300 watts, a 3% increase is gonna be you know, almost 10 watts. That's quite a bit. That's very, very, uh, you know, it could be the difference between finishing off, uh, off the podium and finishing on the podium or finishing third between finishing third and first. Welcome back to mtbfitness.com. Today we're going to be reviewing downhill fundamentals. And lastly, you can see that my index fingers are on the brakes. So let's look at this again. Run through this neutral attack position. Elbows out, arms are bent, index fingers on brakes, pedals are in flat position looking where I want to go, and most importantly, out of the saddle in dynamic position. So we'll look into this in a little bit more. Here's a little bit more aggressive downhill. So right there, you can see I'm in position. I'm out of the saddle. You can see a little clear view. I'm doing a little pumping action there. We're going to review this. It's a little more aggressive stance right there. But then again, coming through here, looking around to go, flat pedals, arms bent, dynamic. As you can see, I'm adjusting positions throughout this, being dynamic. Pedals are flat the whole time. This turn isn't super aggressive, so I'm not waiting my outside foot. But I am in, in this dynamic attack neutral position. So now let's look at the next position. The next position specifically is going to be downhill on a corner. Let's look at the video. start breaking this down a little bit. So attack with a corner on the downhill. So specifically what this is doing is combining a corner with the downhill position, the downhill neutral attack position we just looked at. 